Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. Today is Sunday the 21st of June, 2020. It's Father's Day here in the UK. It's a day where you show appreciation, you show your love and you show for how much your dad, your father, means to you. Your grandfather, of course that may be your uncle. That may even be somebody who's brought you up but it might not necessarily be your dad. It could also be that you're in a situation where you have somebody who is like a father to you. There are so many things which we have to be thankful for, for these people who have brought us up. My dad, who means the world to me, is absolutely incredible. I'm extremely proud of him and he's an absolute inspiration to how I lead my life. In terms of my career, I look to him for not necessarily inspiration, but I always like to include my dad in every step of my journey for my career. But I always try to really, really make my mum and my dad proud. And you know what? I only need to look at them and I know that just by a simple smile or a simple sort of word, or it could even be how they actually say something to me, I know that I'm doing just okay. And I can see the love and the pride just at the way they look at me. Very often, if I'm worried or if I'm frightened about something or if I've got a worry on my mind um, or if I'm getting pretty low, I know I have to just have a chat with my dad, even if it's five minutes to even an hour or even longer. Could be on a Friday evening over brandy. Yeah, that's what I love to do. Um, or it could just be five minutes in my dad's beloved garden with him talking to me in between his projects and him doing his gardening. And I actually feel so much better. Very often, as if there's lots of people about, um, or we have a very, very busy family home, um, and I still live in the family home, um, even if there's a... Uh, yeah, even if there is a time where, for example, something's on my mind or something's offended me or somebody in my family, because we have a whole mixture of characters in my family, somebody said something, my dad will know. And I know exactly the right thing to say to get me feeling back to how I'm to feeling better again. My mum, exactly the same. I am so privileged in this life to have the parents which I have. I am truly blessed and I am truly grateful. Father's Day is a day which we should show appreciation to dads and grandfathers and, as I say, whoever is your your role model, your father figure. Of course, in today's society, that can mean so many things. But, as I say, I am truly blessed. I don't just believe that there should be one day we should show our love and affection for these important, important characters in our lives. So I try to do literally the best I can and do the nicest of things every day. Now sometimes we all have stressful days and sometimes we all have days where they seem to rush on by but even if it's just the smallest of thing to make my dad's day or my mum's day brighter I try to do it. I try to always be the first one to buy gifts and I always like to really really spoil my parents and do you know what money doesn't mean anything at all it could be the smallest of thing it could be the most lavish of thing and do you know what the nicest part about it is when you give something and you see that smile. For example, Father's Day this morning, giving my dad his gifts this morning and seeing him open my card. Just that smile just means the world. And you know what? Sometimes on Father's Day with my dad, you get a silence because he really shows emotion. But you know that that silence means that it's kind of got a bit much and it's kind of got a bit welled up. Um, but you just know it's there and you can see the love there. you really really can um, and that means the world and uh, and kind of that makes me feel really quite warm and fuzzy and I walk and I walk away and I think to myself you done good this year Bradley <laughs> but of course Father's Day is about appreciation and showing thanks for what our parents have done for us my father and my mother have given me an incredible and incredible life I'm 26 and I have had an incredibly privileged upbringing and for that I am eternally grateful and if I can replicate that to my own children one day that would be one of the most amazing things and something I want to do. Very often I always think to myself if I turned out as accomplished and as well travelled as my dad I would be happy with that in life and that would be me big tick successful. My parents are absolutely incredible with the fact that they always know the right things to say. They always know how to make me feel better. And 
just knowing that they're just there makes life so much more easier, especially when I'm going through things such as health problems or concerns or worries. If you've been watching my channel, you'll know that I'm going through some health things at the moment, which is proving to be really, really difficult. But my mum and my dad are incredible and they're there every step of the way. And do you know what that means so much? It really, really does. Of course, Father's Day isn't, of course, just for one day, as we've covered. But what's really, really nice is making just that one day just that little bit more special. So in our family, it always means a really big lavish meal, the cake, the gifts. And it's really, really special to have everyone together. And it's really, really lovely. And I can just see the glow on my father's face. It's amazing. And I absolutely love it. And I love days like this because you can really, really spoil your parents. Or even if you can't afford to spoil your parents, just doing one thing different. One thing could be a small gesture. It could be a huge gesture. It will mean an incredible amount to them. My dad is very much into one sort of uh, building projects, sort of woodwork, gardening. Um, to be honest with you, there's not a lot my dad cannot do. And that I just am absolutely in awe of. He was in the services. My dad was in the Navy um, for a very, very long time. And he is very, very hardworking. Um, and and I try to I try to sort of mould my career and how I want my life to be around that, around sort of that that image what's been in my life and that sort of I always describe it as an oak tree of a family and that certainly is what my dad is. The the stability, the the not letting anything bother him, just really gritting your teeth, getting on with it. Um no matter what's thrown at you in life. Um and, and that I really find quite inspirational and incredibly special. And I have the utmost of respect for my father and the stories and things which which we often get told and it's just it's just amazing absolutely amazing and as i say i am truly truly blessed in this life and we're really really very close um technology and things of course can sometimes trip us all up can't it but it's just like i'm the first person my dad asks if there's something which hasn't gone right he's the first person i ask to help get things sorted out um and you know what vice versa if anything's wrong or anything's or anything needs sorting out my dad is there and he's there to ask and it doesn't matter what time of the day I'm not necessarily be as happy in certain times but he's always there and he's always there to count on and and that just means the world absolutely right now my dad is in his garden and that is probably probably his favorite place to be honest with you we have the most beautiful it's like it's like a collection of secret gardens of all different things around the world in several ponds that as well is just is just amazing and it's and it does show homage to what sort of the type of character my dad is and um yeah that's quite special that's absolutely quite special of course father's days father's day isn't just about your dad of course it's about your grandfather as well and um, now i have a really lovely grandfather i don't see him too often because he lives in wells which of course being here in england is quite a bit of a trek and when I do see him, it's always lovely, um, and I always make sure that I shower him with gifts and really, really spoil him as well. So this morning he had a whole bunch of parcels and things to open, and and it was really, really lovely because my dad got to speak to his dad on the phone this morning, which doesn't happen too often, um, and which was really, really lovely to hear. And just to see that that expression on my dad's face was was amazing. It was lovely, lovely to see that. And I'm going to be speaking to my grandfather later on today, which will be lovely. Um, but there is always a slight part of Father's Day for me where I look to my mum and because I'm incredibly, incredibly close to my nan, who is uh, the lady who I very much talk about on my channel. Um, now, that's my mum's mum, who I'm very, very close with. But, you know, my, my grandfather on my mum's side, my mum's dad, I never really got to know because he died when I was one. Um, unfortunately, uh, bless his heart, he died of cancer. Um, but I feel that I have known him and known so much because that was through my mum and my nan. Being incredibly close to my nan, I heard so, so much about him. And um, when it would have been his birthday or... Or sort of milestones such as uh, Christmas and things like that. Me and my nan would always go to my grandfather's grave, and you know, well, there's a bench nearby. He has a tree as well, and it's absolutely beautiful. And we would sit and we would have lunch, and 
my grandfather's father's day and birthday were only about a week in between so for example my grandfather's birthday was the 13th of june and of course father's day being the 21st of june apparently he always used to call it his doubler but the gifts and things which he would receive which i think is just incredible and what i've heard about him in an absolute incredible person um and I only, only wish that I could have known him. But from a mum and my nan, I believe I do. And I like to think that he's looking down on us in heaven. And when I say prayers and things, he's always there. He's always there. Um, but, you know, I looked at my mum this morning and it just made me feel really upset to think that my dad was downstairs talking to his dad. Um, and my mum was carrying on as as normal and I just looked in and I asked her some questions about it which was just lovely about things for Father's Day uh, for years ago when he was alive and, and what my mum used to do and types of gifts which she would buy um, which was lovely and, and I hope that helped I truly truly do um, but I think Father's Day is so so special to show our appreciation and it really does with what I've just said hit home to think that we should we should appreciate, we should love our parents, our grandparents, and whoever you have as a father figure. We should show them appreciation for what they are to us, for what they've done and for what they continue to do for us and what they mean to us in our life. Um, because, of course, we have to... You have to appreciate what you have today because, as the saying goes, it could well be gone tomorrow. Unfortunately, we have all gone through the most horrific coronavirus pandemic ever. So many lives have changed forever. Um, and I imagine so many people's Father's Day is going to be very, very different today. But, of course, in the one hand, that we have a very, very special time in my family and I have an amazing, amazing father. Some people, of course, don't have that and some people have lost that. And, and my heart goes out to them. It truly, truly does. Um, and, and, and yeah, absolutely bless them. Honestly, how that, how that must, how that must feel. I can, I can only imagine. Um, and, and I do truly feel blessed for the family I have, for the grandparents I have, and, and for the life I lead. I really do. Father's Day is a special time, just as what Mother's Day is. What I hate is when somebody says it's a gimmick. Um, it's certainly not. Why would a day where you show appreciation and love and affection for your parents, your mum and your dad, be a money gimmick? No, completely disagree with that. And it really, really does wind me up. You don't need to do it once a year, every day. But what's wrong with making a certain day so much more special in our family that's what we do we have a big sit down meal we have a lovely lavish meal and we really really spoil my dad with gifts and all sorts of things and and um yeah in the evening we have drinks together and um yeah it's it certainly is um lovely and usually my dad has so much different stories and things to tell he was in the navy for an extremely long time um and yeah so much to be proud of extremely well traveled man um very long mar marriage with my mum and um, yeah, I feel incredibly proud of that. Um, I have the most amazing parents. I really, really do. And on that note, I hope you enjoy your Father's Day. But something a little bit more different this year is my twin brother is a dad. So for the first time ever, he is a dad. So it will be his first Father's Day. So, so many incredible things going on. I mean, that's been really special to see as well, because his partner showed me the gifts which she bought him for Father's Day from his little daughter. But that was just beautiful. And his face this morning when he's seen it, that sort of glow, it's just there. I'd love to have that at one point. Perhaps not yet. I still think I'm a little too young. But... Yeah, I would, I absolutely so so would love fam uh, family and children in the future. Perfect wife, perfect home, perfect children. What more could anybody want? Okay. Well, I really really do hope with your father or your grandfather, hope that you enjoy Father's Day and my very very best wishes to you. Have an amazing day and do something really really special for your dad or for your grandfather or for your uncle or for the father figure in your life and until next time we will see you then happy father's day